Who want one last trip to the long trail? What's most important to note about this is that everyone is still moving up. I don't know if you guys can see the red. I'll, I'll put this on my desktop real quick so we can zoom in on the whole thing. You see how it says uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.4? Those red numbers, that's because players are moving out of those ranks. Out of. Now, you can say they either moved up or down, but the fact that all of these are red, all of them are red, is indicating that the characters are moving in one direction. Because, And also, too, what you have to pay attention to is the number is shrinking. Right? Here, you can see like a lot of negative 0 0.055s, negative 0 0.040. Uh, you can see the number is pretty big, and then it gradually skits, uh, slows down. And what that means is that the players are progressing but less and less are progressing this is the brick wall that many players face and this is also the brick wall that the bot face you guys remember the bot from like four months ago the bot was able to cook in all of these ranks but when you get to eliminator eliminator is when you start fighting red ranks because you're one one away right and those red ranks were keeping the bot from actually reaching here and all of the people who are in red ranks they're starting to face real like competition i think this whole section here is just people who are trying to learn the game and then the red area is people who like understand it they're not the best they're not the you know but they understand it they know like they understand the concept of combos um defense um you know punishment attacks strings oki you know they understand these these concepts right as in you have the green section here who are maximizing those uh concepts right so they'll hit you with a max damage combo they'll hit you with uh at times like a perfect punish like if you do a hell sweep they will launch punish your hell sweep right that's kind of what i mean what i think is interesting about the fujin fujin um is another top rank it's even it's the second uh most popular rank in the whole game there's two types of people there's people who say real tekken begins at fujin and there's some people who say real tekken begins at emperor tekken or tekken king right here right which i disagree i think when you talk about like real tekken that we watch on like youtube and like you know streamers and stuff play i think all of that begins here once you get past because you're learning tekken in red ranks trying to really craft your tekken in purple but then in blue that's when you're really being tested because you know when a god of destruction or any of these uh guys switch to an alternate character they go to blue ranks so that's what you're up against right and then also like on a bad day bro i could drop out a tekken lord and i could be a bushin so when you reach right here you're really going up against some of the best people on the game uh on occasion and that on occasion is enough to keep all of these people uh you know uh stuck here right they can't they can't they can't do it you know for the people who are stuck in these areas i say just keep uh you know just keep practicing you know eventually you'll you'll understand and you'll learn and you'll move and you'll progress because as you can see like i said all these things are green and people are moving people are sliding right just got into purple an hour ago nice bro nice 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 sup i just hit fuji today and wanted to know what you think about this rank yeah fuji is nice bro if you reach fuji bro be very proud of uh, that accomplishment, you know? I know a lot of people try to downplay um, ranks. They say, like someone told me, like, lol, when I was in Tekken King, okay, so let me pull this back up, right? When I was in Tekken King, people told me, uh, lol, like you're stuck in Tekken King, you can't progress, like you suck at the game, right? I was, I, so first off, I didn't even want to play ranked. I was just going to hang out in a quick match uh, and just have fun, right? But then, you know, people were like, oh, go in ranked. I went into ranked and I think I stopped at Kenshin maybe and I was like okay I'm good and then you know people was like lol you can't get past Kenshin so then I went to Tech King people was like lol you can't get past Tech King so I went to Emperor same thing people were talking trash now I went to Tekken Lord and now that I'm at Tekken Lord like the top ranks in the whole game people are like lol you only got there because you're carried by Yoshi it's like you can't win you can't win like a lot of people just they just want to talk trash for whatever reason but the point is, um, if you were able to, you know, uh, just look at it like this. This is a hurdle. This massive Garyu is a hurdle. If you can overcome that hurdle, be proud because a lot of people cannot. And then this uh, Mighty Ruler is also a hurdle. If you can overcome that, be very proud. And the same thing with Fujin, right? If you're in Fujin and you're battling hard right now, like you're, you're doing something that a lot of people currently can't do. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, you know, I I try to have fun with Tekken. I, I don't stress off a of rank anymore. Stressing off a of rank will, will do nasty things to you, bro. It will make you toxic. It will make you bitter. It will make you salty. It will make you very... Uh... Oh, and this screenshot's also very important as well. Um, this screenshot 
So the screenshot that we looked at shows you the progression of players, but this one shows how many people have have uh, uh, reached this rank. So 100% of the players reach beginner because you, that's where you start. 52% of players never move past red ranks. And that's why I say um, be proud because you're literally doing something that half of the player base can not do. And I just try to emphasize that because, and the reason why I say be proud is because like I just see a lot of people like talking trash about other people and, and their gameplay and what they're able to do. And I think that mindset is so toxic, bro. Like the tech community is kind of small, right? And uh, we ought to be more supportive of each other and like encourage each other. Um, you know, when I was playing Tech Attack Tournament 2, I was a scrub, bro. I was like the biggest scrub on the planet. I didn't learn what frame data was until like seven years of playing Tekken 7, right? What punishment was, what defense. I didn't learn none of that, right? And I can only imagine if I was like gaming the way I was and I had like a bunch of idiots on the internet or whatever, like, lol, you suck or lol, you this, lol, like pointing out to me how trash I am, maybe I would not have continued, right? Because I didn't know I was trash, right? You guys know when I played Tech Attack Tournament 2, I spent like the first year or so playing Ghost Battle and I thought Ghost Battle was online. That's how like clueless of a player I was. And then once I realized it wasn't online, I don't know how I came to, I just woke up one day and was like, wait, this is not online. Let me go to actual online. I went to actual online. I was sucked at the game, but I didn't see it that way. Like I knew I sucked at the game. Like I had to make a little switch, a little adaptation, but it was fun. I didn't feel any pressure. I didn't feel like I was competing. I didn't feel like I was like, you know, being, judged i just was playing my little game and i was just having fun like like learning you know and and that's why i try to emphasize to people like if you're struggling bro then like don't worry about it just have fun because if you're not having fun bro you will never ever reach this you gotta have fun you gotta learn you gotta or not learn you gotta be like uh positive in your thinking you know and uh, when i see a lot of people like like if i really believe this bro so only 0.54% of players have reached tech, uh, Lord of Destruction. If you reach Lord of Destruction and you're talking trash about any other rank, I think you're the worst, the worst. You're worse than the people who plug in rank. You're worse than the hackers because you have achieved something that less than 1% of players have achieved. And instead of sharing that knowledge, sharing that growth, sharing that uh, passion, you're just reaching it deep inside and you're sharing toxicity. Now, if you want to talk trash to like these top three ranks, go ahead. But if you're talking trash to any other rank outside of that, I think you're a huge problem um, because you like you learn, you know something that less than 1% of the player base know. And for you to just decide that you want to cause destruction and chaos, I'm not with that.